Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on my channel. This time around I'm heading to Takwa in the Western region. Yes, we are going for a show or an event there and we had to visit the mines first of all. <laughs> now there are a lot I'd love to tell you. Now you receive this pass once you pass the test and then an alcohol test and yeah. I was ready to visit the mines you know i just couldn't wait because it's going to be my first time visiting a mine in ghana and it was actually my first time in takwa so yeah come along with me and let's see did you pass the alcohol test i did <laughs> So like I mentioned, before you received your path, we go through a thorough orientation and this orientation is to help us with the rules and regulations on the mind. I tell you there's a lot of regulations that you need to adhere to on the mind. You need not take anything for granted from the wearing of protective and personal equipment to not taking anything on the mind thinking you're playing with it to not having alcohol in your system to you know not hurting any animal on the mind and those are very serious regulations yes and i love the fact that everybody on the mind was disciplined you know from the security man to the topmost official, they were all disciplined and they showed a lot of respect to each and everybody on the mine. All right, so Goldfields Ghana has two major mines, one in Daman and the other in Takwa, which is probably very common. And the Takwa Gold Mine is located about four kilometers, you know, west of of the town of Takwa and that is where um, they retained their ISO 1401 environmental management system certificates you know following an external audit in 2015 the mine also retained a full compliance of uh, ICMC as well as the OHSAS 1801 in June 2015 and June 2014 respectively I'm sure you can also notice that it's taking us a while to get to the uh, mine. It's actually a vast piece of land, like a vast place. And all of the road signs that you're seeing are being adhered to. The warnings, the speed limits are adhered to. This particular green light will turn to red if you are speeding and it will beep and so you'll be caught, you know. And everything on the mine is taken seriously with regards to safety and and regulations that need to be adhered to so if you're not you be queried <laughs> So 
so as you can also see that we are all in our um, personal protective equipment that's the helmet safety boots and the reflector and it's mandatory for every single person on the mine to be in the safety um, protective equipment we are also trying getting to the engineering section where we'll be you know educated about the various activities that go on in the mine and they are going to take us through all of that and uh, show us how um, the workers run their job what they do on a daily basis what their job actually entails as engineers on the mine they take us through how to monitor the uh, miners who go into the pits and make sure that they are all safe and they avoid accidents with you know the use of technology these days you're able to you know monitor all the stress levels of the miners and so yes a lot of safety was actually you know goes into managing each and everybody on the mine all right so that facility is where all the ore is processed after they have been mined you know from the pits and uh, the whole process involves um the ore which is being processed and it utilizes a conventional you know cell plant with um a crusher you know so it's all crushed and it's sent into the mill so that's what you see like silos over there and it contains activated carbon all right so that the whole um solution is is covered from um an electro mining and smelted in the induction furnace and so that is what brings up the gold bars and um, after it goes through all that process. So basically, that's just this in summary. <laughs> so we have from there, they are attaching on to the carbon now. Now, you are afraid of elution chain, elution circuit. Elution is a baby, a jar of home. In the general, who say, Janet Jabia, I bet no name Jabia. Go and be free. Be free. I am a whole fractional distillation. It's a free carbon. Now, caught baby, a friend of cut away. So that's that's how the whole process over here is. So to do here, yeah, that's how you pump from here to the tennis dam. Maybe you have a pump. Okay. So, so a day production um, for tons to be mining almost two hundred and fifty thousand tons. A day. A day. The one tracks in the back. The tracks in the back. About two hundred and. 50,000 tons and then we also crash also um, about 40 40,000 tons we crash a mill so we, we crash almost 40,000 tons a day from the mill mill near turning the whole air crashing we give a target of 40,000 okay and then for the entire day production for gold for the whole month average gold production 
almost and also another forty thousand ounces. Bass. Okay. But it depends. Okay. 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 So yeah. What kind of bass? What kind of bass? Yeah. You TV so that kind of size. Good bass. No? It depends on the sizes. Okay. So bullion so be on the size. Okay. Everything will be a bigger. Um, it could be a thousand ounce bullion. It could be a, a few thousand ounce bullion. Or depending on the size. Okay. But make sure you have a say One kilo. A year, my friends say, uh, 129 pounds. It's really good. Can say one pound, one pound, one pound, 129 times uh, one kilo. Okay. It's yeah, yeah, kilo. No, a year, a year. For one ounce, for one ounce is about um, about 31 ounces. Okay. Makes a kilo. Thanks for giving us the opportunity to speak here. Yeah, just give us a brief about what we need to do. Thank you, and you're welcome anytime to visit Bluefields. Thank you. And it's one of the best mines in the world, and it's a first class mine. And we have wonderful people, and we are more committed to safety, and then also the shared value in our community, and, um, and the, entire, um, com the entire community we find ourselves here. So you're welcome. So anybody who comes into town can come over for it. Yes, you can come to town for a visit to see how we are revolutionizing the whole mining industry and also giving back to the society. Okay. I'm Seth Autry um, with Business Improvement Section. Okay. Thank you. Well, so remember I mentioned earlier that as part of the regulations on the mine, no animal is killed. <laughs> so the environmental officers would, um, you know, how they are carefully, you know, carrying the animal into a bag. And once they do that, they dispose the animal back into the bush. So no animal, not even a fly or an insect is killed. Da! And so this brings us to the end of our tour at one of the best first class mines in in the world you know and i had a good time with all the education i had next time you are in takwa do well to pass through learn a few things or a lot more that i was not able to bring you my name as always is Lydia Esenamajima. don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll do well to bring you best vlogs best educational tips and um, what else everything <laughs> that i'm passionate about don't forget to keep being awesome and do stay blessed i wish you all a merry christmas and a happy new year bye bye